When referring to concessions needed on the Kermadec Sanctuary Bill, what did he mean when he told RNZ yesterday, I think if you did it again, you might do it a bit differently? The Acting Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, oh, I meant what I said, uh, but don't intend to relitigate uh, those negotiations. I th in our view, all parties want to achieve the sanctuary, uh, but we're going to take time over the coming weeks and months to work through the issues that came up during the process. And of course, we welcome the Māori Party's involvement in those discussions. Supplementary. Order. Supplementary question, Madam Fox. What steps, if any, will he take to ensure that property rights are protected? The Acting Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, as one of the members pointed out, this came up in Select Committee and in negotiations. And of course, it is uh, one of the more challenging issues related to uh, not just this sanctuary, but any marine protection. In fact, conservation um, of land-based uh, conservation values raises all the same sort of issues. So it wouldn't be appropriate for me to preempt those discussions because finding a way through does involve balancing competing sets of rights. Supplementary question, Marama Fox. Uh, does he agree with the Māori Party that it is possible to achieve both a sanctuary and to protect property rights that have already been secured in the Fisheries Settlement Act 1992? Uh, the Acting Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, we uh, don't always agree with the Māori Party. In this case, I'd hope that we can get to a position where uh, the sanctuary can be achieved and everyone's happy about it. Sup supplementary question, Calvin Davis. Uh, to the Minister, does he accept that he erred in labelling allegations of an inadequate consultation with Māori over the Kermadex as, quote, weak and, mis quote, mistaken? Given that the supporting legislation has now been put on hold and the sanctuary is unlikely to be operational by the planned November 2016 start date. The Acting Prime Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, no. Order.